how much that, that's going to matter against really, really good players. But yeah. I definitely think she's a very good character. Yeah, Mim is one of those characters that, like, her her biggest weakness is her landing options. They're not that great. Uh, like I said, very similar to the Belmonts. But enough of the Belmonts and Min-Min talk here. Let's get right into TM4. I apologize for the score on the board. It is a little bit off as I update the names. But here is the forwarder and the immediate star from TM4 with 36% on VDOT. More Steve on the stream if you guys wanted to see more of the Steve. Yeah. I need to see more of this character, so I'm always happy to see play for uh, play Steve. And I also think the character is pretty interesting, honestly. It does a lot of like things that just aren't normal in Smash. <laughs> so it makes for some interesting uh, interactions as well. Yeah, good on TM4 to see the retreat back after PK fire. Try to capitalize with back air. Try to read the landing there against the dog with another back air. Going for some crazy side magnet tricks. Ooh. Back at the ledge now. He's actually done a really good job getting off the ledge against Ness. He's not really falling for the down smash that much. Not the best Diana back here, but we still have a chance to recover here. He's gonna stall his recovery. Oh, but oh. not able to reach, yeah. He tried to go as low as possible to see if he can get around the down smash, but wasn't able to come back. Up smash here? Oh, so that's the thing you actually can do. Um, if you know they're gonna go for up smash, you can actually delay your mash out of the cart. Yeah. So it'll mess with the timing on the up smash. Yeah, exactly. So the Steve player has to actually pay attention to that and go for forward air instead in that situation. Yeah, Steve can definitely get a lot of good follow-ups off the card. So yeah, like Shred said, watch with your mash match um, mash outs. There's a lot yeah, of if you, if you match out immediately, they're just gonna up smash you. Yeah, they're either uh, yeah, it'll up smash you, and if not, if you don't if you mash out late, they'll go for forward air, which can spike you. All right, right now though, that's him for a huge lead. Very close to getting another kill here, too. Yeah, good side stall there, and nice. an excellent one to get the back air. TM4 with a three stock lead here, D Dog with a V. Pretty much for the mind went. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry for your loss there. Yeah, that, that was actually a really good anti air up smash attempt, but up air just didn't care about that move at all. 45% already. This is looking really bad. Yeah. It's TM4 good just doesn't seem to care that much about mostly Steve options. Nice punish on the minecart. Side magnet into the backer, almost getting another kill. He couldn't actually get the kill at the ledge here if he plays his cards right. No invincibility. Oh, oh air dodges? no invincibility. Yeah, he's dead. And he's out of fuel, man. TM4 with an impressive three stock here. Yeah, it's like you said, he doesn't really care about the minecart because there's a lot of times TM4 just sees the minecart. And he just jumps over it with a back air because he knows the first thing that D-Dog is going to go for after minecart is an aerial. So he just punishes him before it. And if you know if you know how Ness's aerials work, they're very disjointed. Much more than you think. So good stuff to TM4 just understanding, okay, cool. If Steve's best approach option right now is minecart, there is a lot of stuff that I can do against it. That it won't even matter to me anymore. Yeah, if you're at the right distance on this stage, you have enough time to react to him doing the minecart. And if you're a character like Ness with like that, those really good aerial drift, the really good aerials, you, you just hit him out of it consistently, as you saw from a TM4. So that was really nice. Yeah, yeah, I expected the Mario to come out after that first game. Just really, really didn't look good for him. Yeah, I would too, man. You're going to have to change characters because TM4 is definitely adapted to that Steve here. Let's see, let's see what the Mario can do. <laughs> I thought D Dog was holding. Okay, so D Dog was holding shield there to see how if, uh, if TM4 was going to go for BK Fire, but TM4 sensed the pretty much the shield and just went for a grab. So good play there. Something I noticed a lot of Mario's in this matchup, they just kind of have like an awkward timing on their combos against the way that Ness like works when he gets hit. So they tend to drop them if they're not used to the matchup. Yeah, so that's what I'm noticing already. From a D dog, unfortunately. Even yeah. even Zenyu, I see him like struggle sometimes to combo Ness with Mario. Oh, but this is this is why this is a great Mario stage. Not yeah, dead, he... but look how much percent he's able to get off the platforms. Yeah, we even saw the critical hit there with the up B. Wasn't gonna kill, but still, 
Good enough to know they can get a good extension. Oh, and a tough trade for D-Dog after the yeah. smash, Taking some time in the Angel platform. Not liking how that went. Oh, okay. I didn't tell. I thought they were doing like some weird like button check thing. But yeah, uh, D-Dog, unfortunately, he just got caught spot dodging at a really bad time. Great recovery there from TM4. And uh, he's... He's kind of playing the strategy against Mario at this percent where you're like, okay, they're only going to try to kill me with smash attacks. I'm just going to hold shield. <laughs> kind of similar yeah. when you're fighting a, a box. Uh, D-Dog looking for an up smash to punish the jump from the ledge here, but this is a good corner carry for TM4 all the way across the stage, missing the back air, neutral out of the shield as a punish. Good play here. Finally, D-Dog with a little bit of break in stage control. Good use on Flood. Definitely helps you out with neutral, oh. forcing the low recovery. Great recovery. And he held down too? Okay, he missed the ledge, but I, I like that idea. Yeah. If if he uh didn't shield that, it would have been worth it anyway. And he saved his double jump through like all that stuff off stage too. That was actually really good nest recovery. Oh, this is a big combo though. Nice combo. I would have personally I would have personally finished the that up air combo with Nair to sit nest off stage. Right, that's, that's what you're looking for, but I still like that D-Dog, even though he didn't finish off the combo, he just comes back to stage to try to get stage control and read the landing from TM4. Oh, tough trade. Those Fire fireballs are actually healing for a lot. They are. <laughs> for I didn't expect it to heal that much. And the call out with up air. See, if, it's, if I were in D-Dog's position, you use fireball to buy yourself time on the stage, and even then, it's a rough trade because you did heal Ness, but you still get to come back on the stage. And it's a rough one, too, with how much Ness healed. Back air? Oh, no. Nice on the reverse. That was actually a really good DI for TM4. He actually DI'd back onto the stage um, instead of, like, getting put in a combo that could potentially kill him. Yeah. That was actually really smart. And you know what's really smart here is uh, Kawami Kaze with a tier 1 sub for 25 months, man, for two years. Big shout outs to you, my friend. Yep, another really good recovery. Kind of faking out the PK Thunder stall there for, against D Dog. Oh. TM4 was such a yeah, no double forward there. Yeah, no jump, jump and the down there. <laughs> that, so, that was so rude, but actually optimal. <laughs> actually optimal edge guard. Being without a jump, man, is just being without a paddle in the middle of the ocean. You are just stuck and gone. TM4, very, very man. Good.